Memory is said to be a wonderful trait of human beings. Now, more than ever in history, scientists are unlocking the secrets to enhancing memory. Memory is extremely important to educators, not only for them personally as they age and worry about failing memory, but most importantly for the role that memory plays in teaching and learning process. Memory as a concept often is relegated to a minimal role. If education is the bedrock of every society and as such education is very important especially for pupils in their formative years, then it is very expedient that we place value on education. Innovation 101 is still on the train, educational train, where we look for better ways or the best practices in improving our educational sector. Today on Innovation 101, we are looking at one such innovations that is making the educational sector what it's supposed to be. I have with me Ebenezer, Ebenezer Boche, who is training children in in ways that I find very amazing. I just can't understand. The, the training is such that they are able to remember things easily, you know, and they're able to, uh, it sharpens their retentive memory. And so today we are looking at how it started and what goes into it and all and all. So come with me and let's find out more about this very innovative skill. Welcome to the show, Ebenezer. Thank you. Okay. What is this skill about? How does it work? Well, it's all about helping our children to learn better. Um, you know, in Ghana, we do something called the chew, pour, pass, and forget, or what we call the root form of learning. Mm -hmm. And we have observed that if you do that form of learning, we keep on forgetting. And as you know, we are tested on what we do, and we have to use what we are taught in school for our careers. So if you can recall the things that you have been trained on, how do you perform and how do you become successful? So what we do at uh, Brain Development Institute is, is we use simple method systems um, that we, we train anyone that is learning on. And if you go through the system, you can recall. Okay. So tell us the system and how it works. Okay. Um, I'll give you for, um, a typical example. You remember when we were in school, we used to... Um, um, recall things in ways we call the mnemonics. Mnemonics, okay? And when we want to remember the colors of the rainbow, we have acronyms that we use to remember them. If we wanted to remember the um, notes on the staff, we have simple things like, every good boy deserves what? Favor. With that, we can know that the first uh, note on the staff is what? E, then we have the second one being what, G, then the second one being what, and so it goes and then on. And with that, your recall is what, perfect. Is there any way you can forget this? No, no you can't forget. And so we call these the popular mnemonics, mm -hmm. okay? And um, somebody made them for us, and we have been using them to help us to what, to recall. Mm -hmm. But we at uh, Brain Development Institute say that, we say that that's not all, we can go further. And the systems that we have developed will help you to remember all subjects, math, science, English, BDT, you can recall all of them readily if you want to. So that is what we do. Okay. So if a child comes, you know every child in their level of uh, how they're able to pick things easily. Mm -hmm. So if a child comes to your institute, how do you know that this child will pick from this level? I mean, how are you able to manage? What we do is that we have a test at the... Um, early stages when we're about to train a person. Early stages like what age? Um, we start from eight years upwards. Eight years, okay. okay. And usually what we do is we work with schools. And so when we go to the school, we take a class for example, then we give them that the test. From the test we can determine that this child is on this level when it comes to recalling words. This child is on this level when it comes to recalling numbers. And when it comes to recalling facts, data, and all that. So we can when we determine that, then when we are training them, we know from which level to take them from. And so it helps to make them better and better at the end of the day. Okay. So um, let's, let's, let's take it from this. Uh, this is an institute. Mm -hmm. So 
parents enroll their kids? Is it like a normal school that you come or it's after school? No, it's, um, how do I put it? It's, what we do is we work with schools. Okay. And so it's part of their curriculums. Okay. So let's say, um, I'll give you a typical example of the schools we work with. Okay. We work with um, the Light Academy and okay. Globing School, Sunflower. Um, okay. All these schools that I just mentioned, it's part of their curriculums. Okay. So we have trainers that will go in and say, uh, if we have Mondays, um, 10 a.m., it will be on the curriculum. Then the trainer will go in, then they'll take them through the lesson for that day. Okay. And it's the lessons are in levels okay we have the basic we have the intermediate and we have the advanced okay and a child that can go through the three stages there's nothing that they can't remember they and can't remember yes and their study habits really goes up okay apart from that um we have mental match that comes into the middle yeah the intermediate when they um they, uh, they are being trained and what they are trained on in the mental match it's really applicable to the things that they are learning okay so if you are doing science and you have you come across any mathematics okay. you can just do the calculations easily from your head it doesn't matter if it's addition subtraction division fractions decimals you can do all those from your head right? <laughs> like abacus um we, we not um the same as abacus what what they do is they specialize in the uh basic uh, form of uh, using the abacus you know when we were kids we had this slate and we had this uh, beads that we used to do subtractions that's where they come from but what we do is we go a bit higher than that for example when you go to market and you want to buy something, or you go to ShopRite, and you buy something that is um, $16.99. Okay. Um, and you give them um, maybe 50 Ghana or 250 Ghana, um, Ghana and that, that makes up 100 Ghana. How do you know the amount that they should give you back for, for a change? Some people can do that readily from their heads. So with what we do, a child can know that that's what mommy is taking back easily. You, you see the difference yes. uh -huh. so mm -hmm. that's where we come from so it's applicable to what the child is doing let's okay. say fractions if we add, ask a child to add uh, two over four plus two over five okay the child can give you answer readily quickly okay. i need us to go through it i want to give it a try i want to see if i'll be able to remember at my age will i be able to remember <laughs> yes. or you need to be very young to be able to no okay so let's give it a try let me see how smart okay. i can be <laughs> Okay. All right, I'll just show you how to multiply any number by 11. Any number by 11? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's say if I have 5 and 4. 5 and 4, four. is 9. 54. 54. 54. And okay. you, are, you are supposed to multiply that by 11. Okay? By 11. Okay. You, what we will do is that we keep the first 5, then you add the 5 and the 4 together. That will give you what? 9. You will keep that in the middle. Then we'll bring the 4 at the end. Okay, you, you, five nine four. four exactly so if you multiply 54 by 11 it gives you five nine four did, did really? <laughs> <laughs> that was smart okay so now no, let's do i want to be sure it's, it's it's that way let me do my calculation let me use my nokia okay i have a calculator here oh is it, is it that easy? That easy. <laughs> okay. I need to be sure. Extras. Okay, calculator. So you said 50, 54. 54. Multiply that by 11. Multiply that by 11. By 11. Yes. By 11. 594. Exactly. <laughs> That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. Really 594. Exactly. Okay. Uh, let's take another example. Another I'll example. You, I'll give you, let's say, um, 62. 62. Okay. Multiply okay. that by the same 11. By, that, by the same 11. 62. Uh, so, 6, 8. Okay, 6, eight, 8, 8. And the 2. Oh, okay. Wait. No. You said <laughs> we have to keep... You have to take the first number, number which is six, then you and add then you add six and, and eight, eight, 
which is a, a six a, and two, two which is eight, eight then the last and then, comes then the last digit, digit is what? two exactly so okay you have what? six eight two. two okay you can check okay wait <laughs> <laughs> this must be some magic okay S so 62 times 11. 11. 682. Exactly. So that's how easy it becomes for what? The kids to learn. I'll give you wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you another example. Another example. Yeah. If I say square um, 25. I should square 25. 25. That gives It'll be 50. No, no. So 25 squared. Uh, 25 squared. squared. Yeah. That gives us 6, 2, and 1, and a 5. Okay? But I'm going Wait, to show 25 you... 25 squared is what? 6, 2, 5. 6, 2, 5. Yes. 25 squared is 6, 2, 5. Yes. And so okay. I'm going to show you how to do that quickly from your head. 25 squared is 25 times 25. Yes. <laughs> My mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, 25... Squared is 25 times 25, which is 6 to 5. Okay. Okay, so. so I'm going to show you how to do that yeah. mentally. Okay. Yeah, mentally. Okay. Mm. You take the two, the first two. The first two. Then you add one to it. Add one to, to it. The two. the two, that becomes what? Three. So multiply the, the product. That's a three by two. What gives you what? Six. Good. Then square the five at the end. Five. Five squared is twenty-five. Exactly. So we have so six, six two, two, five. five. <laughs> okay. So is there any formula, or like you have a formula for? As noted by Kane and Kane, nineteen ninety-seven, many of us associate the word memory with the recall of specific dates or facts, or list of information, and sets of instructions requiring memorization and efforts. Memory, however, goes beyond this one-dimensional aspect of learning and rather focuses on attending, learning, linking, remembering, and using the thousand pieces of knowledge and skills we encounter constantly. For educators, memory is the only evidence that something or anything has been learned. Think about it. If students cannot commit knowledge or skills to memory, even briefly, how can we know they have learned the knowledge or skill. I think VDI has helped me a lot because I was I wasn't that good. But when I started, when the memory master course came along, I I found out that yeah, I have the potentials of memorizing a lot of things. And yeah, it has been helping us a lot. It has been dope. Um, it has really helped me since I got introduced to this program. I've been able to um, remember things within a short period of time, and I perform better since I've been introduced to this program. And I think it's really helping us. Okay, all right. Let's move from <laughs> let's move from mathematics. Okay. How do I remember names or things easily? Okay. Do, is there any particular format? Yes, there, there are formats. Okay. What 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 happens is that our brains. Okay. Our brains. Yeah. They are like. Um, laptops or computers okay if you want to give information to a computer or a yeah. laptop you have to give it in the format that it wants you can't just uh, point um, a paper at the laptop and say take this information will they take that information no you need to input it exactly yeah. so you, ha you have to put it through the way a uh, mode that it wants yeah either through a fax machine or a scanner or a typing you get it that's how our brain works yeah if you want to give information to the brain, you have to give it in a way that it wants. Yeah. And we have realized that the best form of doing that is in images. It's in what? Images. Okay. So let's say if I give you, I want you to remember 10 things. Yeah. All that you have to do is to make sure that as I tell you those things, you change them into images. Okay. For example, I'll go through 10 um, words now. Yeah. And I say, I'm doing those. So try to picture them as I go through. Okay. Yeah. One. One. Yeah. One will always be a pencil. Okay. One and pencil. And picture, you see one is straight. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Two. It's in the form of what? Um, round and a line underneath. It's like what? A duck. A duck, yeah. So two will be what? A duck. A duck. You get it? All right. Are you picturing them now? Yes. Okay. Pencil, a duck. Good. Three. It's in the form of what? 
um, something like a little butterfly. You see how yes. the wings are? It's yes. like three. Yes. So at three will be what? A butterfly. A butterfly. Okay. We'll take four. Four is like what? A chair. A chair, yes. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Then five. You can, what, what shapes looks like five? Snake. You can, you can take a snake, mm -hmm. but it's more like a, what, a hook. A hook, yeah. It's more like a hook. Wonderful. So can we go back over the, the five? Okay. One is a pencil. Mm -hmm. Two is a duck. Mm -hmm. uh, three. The shape, remember? Three. Uh, three is like a butterfly. Wonderful. Three. And then four is a chair. Good. And then five. We just did five, right? Like what? Five is like as a hook. What? You yeah. see how easy it is? Yeah. You see, if I just yeah. mentioned these five words yeah. to you, yeah. it should be very tough for you to recall them. But you see, as I associated them with some images for you to remember, okay. it became so easy to what? Remember. To remember. So the systems that we have, that we, okay. we show out these kids and adults to learn, okay. what we do is, we show and um, we have uh, systems for everything that you can come across. Okay. If you're learning French, if you're learning art, whatever you can learn. Yeah. We show you what to go, how to do those things, and it becomes easy. easy to remember. Very easy. For educators, what's the point if teaching occurs without learning? We might as well skip the teaching in the first place. Educators must ensure that students attend to learning, attach new learning to previous learning, actively engage in learning, construct meaning, and demonstrate their learning.